Okay, so let's look at measure and let's start by looking at the units of length and their equivalent amounts or rates. So if we look, start with the units of length and we see that the, well, the unit, standard unit of length is the metre and in a metre there are 100 centimetres. And a metre can be subdivided even further into a thousand parts, and so that in a metre we can have a thousand millimetres. In a kilometre we have a thousand metres, and one centimetre is equal to ten millimetres. We have ten millimetres in a centimetre. So the unit of length, the standard unit of length is a metre, but the metre can be subdivided into smaller parts, millimetres or centimetres, or, uh, or multiplied up into bigger parts like kilometres. One kilometre is 1,000 metres. So often we're asked to, to convert, say, 50 millimetres, 50 millimetres here, to centimetres. What is 50 millimetres in centimetres? To do this we first write down, we check to see what the exchange rate is and we see that one centimetre, we're looking for an exchange rate between millimetres to centimetres, so one centimetre is 10 millimetres, we write that down, and we're converting 50 millimetres, so we put the 50 millimetres underneath the 10 millimetres, uh, to centimetres, this is the centimetre side, so we're, we'll look, we just write x because we're trying to see how many x centimetres uh, that would be. Okay, so once we've written down our one centimetre is equal to 10 millimetres and x is equal to 50 millimetres, we simply cross multiply. So 1 times 50 is equal to x by 10. So 1 by 50 is 50 is equal to x by 10. So therefore divide both sides by 10 we get x is equal to 50 over 10. x is equal to 5 centimetres. So 50 millimetres is equal to 5 centimetres. Second example here, convert 0.8 of a metre to centimetres. So we write down our, our rate, our equivalent rate. So what in terms of metres and centimetres, which will be uh, in our log tables. Uh, it's up here, they're noted up here at the beginning. Uh, so we write down the fact that one metre is the same as 100 centimetres. So then 0.8 metres, we write underneath our 1 metre, keep the metres on the same side, is equal to however many centimetres, x centimetres. If we cross multiply 1 by x is x, is equal to 100 by 0.8. So 1x is x, x is equal to 100 times 0.8, 80 centimetres. 0.8 of a metre is 80 centimetres. Let's look at the units of mass. One gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. A thousand grams is one kilogram, and a thousand kilograms is one ton. So how do we convert eight grams to milligrams? Well, one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. So therefore, eight grams, keep your grams underneath each other, keep the same units on the same side, is equal to x milligrams. We're looking to find that. Cross multiply, x by 1 is 1x, one 8 by 1000 is 8 times 1000, 1x one is x is equal to 8000 milligrams. So 8 grams is the same as 8000 milligrams. Let's convert 6000 milligrams to grams. 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligrams. Uh, so 6000 milligrams is equal to x grams, cross multiply, 1 by 6,000 is here, is equal to x by 1,000, divide both sides by 1,000, x is equal to 6 grams. So 6,000 milligrams is the same as 6 grams. Now we'll look at units of volume or capacity. 
one litre is the same as 1,000 centimetres cubed, which is the same as 10 by 10 is an area of 100 centimetres squared. If we, have a, if we have 10 of those, multiply all that by 10, we end up with 1,000 centimetres cubed, and that's equivalent to 1 litre. Okay, And 1 litre is also equal to 1,000 millilitres. So let's convert 6 litres to millilitres. Well, 1 litre is equal to 1,000 millilitres. Underneath that, we directly write our equal sign, and we say 6.4 litres is equal to x millilitres. Cross multiply 1 by x, 6.4 by 1,000. x is equal to 6,400 millilitres. Let's convert 4,500 millilitres to litres. 1 litre is equal to 1,000 millilitres. So x litres is equal to 4,500 millilitres. Cross multiply, x by 1,000 is equal to 1 by 4,500. Divide both sides by 1,000, x is equal to 4.5 litres. So 4,500 millilitres is the same as 4.5 litres. Okay, so let's look at uh, situations where we need to apply these conversions. So this question is from page 287, it's question 5. What is the cost of 400 grams of cheese if 3 kilograms cost 28 euros 95 cents? So first, we need to, because we have this relationship of kilograms to euros, we should really convert, first of all, this 400 grams to kilograms. So, 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams, x kilograms is 400 grams, uh, we, that's our standard rate. This is what we're looking to convert, so we just cross multiply as before, and we say 1 by 400 is equal to x by 1,000, uh, divide both sides by 1,000 here, x is equal to 0 0.4 kilograms. Now, we set up our, our exchange rate here again, where 3 kilograms costs 28 euros 95 therefore 0.4 kilograms keeping the units underneath the same units above and below is equal to x euros so cross multiply 3x is equal to 0.4 by 28.95 uh, divide both sides by 3 and we should get 3 euros 86 so 400 grams or 0.4 of a kilogram will cost three euros 86 and uh, another example uh, this time the example is from page 286 it's from page 286 uh, question 8 Andy takes two five milliliter doses of medicine for five days four times a day if the bottle contained a quarter liter of medicine before he started, how many milliliters were left after the five days? Well, the answer goes like this: the amount taken, with me, the amount taken, uh, is equal to two by five mil doses four times a day for five days. Two hundred milliliters taken. The amount in the bottle before he started taking his medicine was a quarter of a liter. So we need to find, uh, because we're talking millilitres here, we need to find what quarter of a litre is in millilitres. Knowing that one litre is equal to a thousand millilitres, a quarter or 0.25 litres, keeping our units above each other, an equal sign above each other, is equal to x millilitres. So cross multiply, x by one is equal to 0.25 by a thousand. That means that there was 250 millilitres in the bottle before he proceeded and he proceeded to drink 200 millilitres. Therefore, there must be 50 millilitres left. And finally, we'll just make a note of how we can use graphs uh, to, to allow us to perform conversions, Okay, where we extrapolate the data from the graph. So here's a graph here that relates kilometres to miles. Okay, and if we were to find or try and convert 10 miles into kilometres, we'd simply go out to the 10 miles, up to the graph, over 
take the reading here and that would give us our value in kilometres for which 10 miles would be equal to. If we were to convert and find 80 kilometres in terms of miles then we would go up to the 80 kilometres, we would go across to the graph and down to the miles axis and we take a reading uh, from our graph there which gives the equivalent miles for the associated uh, kilometres and that's called extrapolating data.